Joel? To your right. How did you feel before today's game, and did your illness affect how you played? Um, man, I was just trying to do the right thing and, you know, uh, come out and fight, uh, get a win. Uh, so uh, now we're down 3-2. We're going back home, and uh, we're going to get... think that that has affected the way you played either last game or this game? You had several turnovers tonight and didn't seem to be in rhythm offensively. No, I mean, it's the same game plan. Uh, we make a couple of adjustments. Uh, I think I'm a pretty smart dude to figure out uh, what type of adjustments. Uh, you know, obviously you need repetition, but uh, at the end of the day, I got to go out and do my job uh, tonight. Uh, made a couple of mistakes uh, that I got to fix. Joe, you've talked a lot throughout your career about how much you feed off the home crowd. How much will you guys need that um, on Thursday? Uh, we're going to need them. Uh, so I'm excited. Uh, love playing home. Uh, you know, uh, I expect the atmosphere to be uh, great. Uh, I expect them to carry us. Uh, you know, you always want that. Uh, and then I think it pushes us too. Uh, so that's an important game. Uh, we're not go home. Uh, so we Got to get that one. Jimmy, thought I heard you told, tell a teammate in the locker room, this is not the end of the world. Is that kind of the message from a, a veteran who's been in a lot, of, uh, a lot of situations like this? I think so. We just got to go and, and do what we're supposed to do on the home floor. That's it. Keep competing. Keep playing hard. Stick together. Have each other's backs and know that uh, not one player on our team is going to be able to do it by themselves. Uh, we win together. We lose together. And we're going to play together again come whenever we play. Uh, Joel, I just want to ask you just how hard, how hard it's been just the last couple of days and how much pressure you put on yourself to deliver for this team and how disappointing it's been that you haven't been able to play at the level that you used to. Uh, it sucks. Um, you know, uh, I know I got to do a better job uh, for us to win. Uh, I got to do the little things. Uh, when. I'm needed to score the ball. Uh, I got to show up, uh, you know, you know, setting screens. I got to do a better job of rebounding the ball. Um, so that's on me. Uh, you know, um, you know, can't control my physical condition, but uh, I can also control how much I push myself, and I try to do that. And, but I just got to do more. Uh, I know that, uh, you know, got to go back to, Game three, uh, the same energy, uh, got to have fun. Uh, that's one of the keys of me playing so, uh, playing so well uh, the whole season, this postseason. It's just about, I mean, I got to smile on the court. I got to, you know, uh, lift my teammates up. Uh, you know, I, I, I shouldn't care about offending anybody. I just got to be myself and just not really care and just do whatever I want to. And at the end of the day, uh, that's how I dominate. Uh, you know, if you see me smile, uh, that means I'm, do I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, and I intend to be doing that in uh, two days. Hi, uh, Joel. Um, when you were subbed off in the, in the fourth quarter, like the fans kind of like did the airplane celebration that you did in game three. Did that bother you at all, or did you even notice it? 
I didn't notice. I just saw them uh, shake their bodies. Um, I didn't pay attention about what the hell they were doing. Uh, well, good for them. Uh, like I said, like I just mentioned, uh, you know, I don't care if it off offends anybody about what I do. Uh, it's all about having fun. Uh, so uh, I don't care. Uh, and I'm going to do that because I know I'm going to dominate. Joel, uh, Jimmy said in the locker room when he spoke to us that they ride or die for you, that they're behind you no matter what condition you're in. Does that make it easier for you to, to fight through something like this, knowing that your teammates have your back like they do? Oh, yeah, for sure. I uh, mean, you know, hours before games, you just sit there, you don't feel well, and uh, you don't really feel like playing. And then you start thinking about, you know, guys like Jimmy, like, you know, always pushing me, like, saying that type of stuff. And then you got coach texting me, you got my teammates checking up on me. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter what type of condition I'm in. He just uh, shows me how much support I got. And, uh, you know, I know that it doesn't matter. Uh, I know that my presence uh, on the court, uh, no matter what I'm going through, if he's not scoring the ball, I know that I can help so much more uh, just by being out there. Uh, so it, uh, at that point, I just start thinking to myself, I, I'm like, man, like the support I get, uh, you know, is incredible. And, uh, you know, it's heartwarming too. And I just tell myself, I'm like, man, I just got to push through it. And just like they always tell me, man, it's all, it's all about two and a half hours, three hours, just try to get through it. Um, you know, and uh, that's what I'm going to keep on doing. Joel, uh, Michael Grange from Sportsnet. Uh, somebody overheard you maybe <coughs> saying something to Drake about you would be back on Sunday. Is that accurate? And do you expect to be back uh, on Sunday for Game 7? Uh, we definitely going to do everything. Uh, you know, uh, he always tells me to shoot the ball. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, I'm going to find ways. Uh, that though. Uh, the last two games, they've been throwing a lot of double and triple teams at me. Um, and I got to find a way out of it and just be myself. Uh, you know, quick moves, duck ins, uh, just find, you know, set screens for them, Tobias, uh, Hub, Ben, uh, JJ, Hub, then get freed up, uh, and just do the little things. Uh, no matter how they're guarding me. And, uh, it doesn't matter. It's, we we gonna do everything we can, and yes, I did. Je vois la question en français si ça vous va. Comment est-ce que vous avez vous êtes senti sur le terrain aujourd'hui et à quel point est-ce que vous étiez limité? Votre entraîneur a dit que vous avez passé deux jours au lit. À quel point est-ce que c'était difficile de jouer aujourd'hui? Je me sentais pas bien aujourd'hui, mais. Il y a mes coéquipiers, euh, euh, mes entraîneurs, euh, euh, ils, me, ils me supportent euh, beaucoup, ils me, ils me donnent beaucoup de leur support. Euh, dans, dans ma tête, je me disais seulement que euh, ça ne veut rien dire. Si je ne me sens pas bien, je dois seulement aller sur le terrain, euh, donner tout ce que j'ai, euh, parce que c'est que ma présence euh, sur le terrain... Euh, uh, hey, no, uh, ça, ça dépend. Même si je ne score pas, je sais que défensivement, uh, je peux uh, avoir un grand impact uh, sur, sur le match. Uh, mais uh, c'est difficile, mais il faut seulement continuer à pousser uh, uh, et essayer de dominer.